Alright, so this is so this is a sheet paper, Fusca paper rather. Now let's cut out this design you guys are seeing right now. Now <clears throat> this design is not hard. Alright. I know some people use last for it. Okay. Some people use last. For me, I like teaching my students in a very simple way, the way I understand. When I started, the way you guys are doing it, using lax and everything, sketching, using tape, that is how I was doing it. But now, I found out a new, different way to do it easier. You understand? All right. Now, you fold into two, into two. The folding part, which is from here. You mark out three inch all right three inch but before you mark this three inch mark we yeah, are three inch here Four here. Then you rule it from the three to the four. All right. Hope you see what I'm doing. You mark here three, mark here four, then you rule it down. Now you come back here again, place your ruler. Mark four. All right. Turn it like this. Place your ruler straight. Mark it like this. Now, what do we need here? We need only the space. We need only the space. Only here. We don't need it. We don't need it. It's only here we need. Remember how I cut it out. From here to here is three. From here to here is four. Then from here to here again is four. All right. Okay. Now, this place here that is three. You need to come to where the folding is. Where the folding is from. Use your ruler from the small side. That is a millimeter, be centimeter, something like that. <laughs> from these small numbers. Okay. You measure this place. Mark it. Come here. The same thing. Mark it. Now from here you mark it, you rule like this to this edge. Please check it well from one side to the other. One side is bigger, the other side is lower. Okay. From here again you rule like this with your hand to this edge. Alright? Now, I'm not fast forwarding anything. We are all doing it together. So, you shouldn't get confused. Now, let me cut from here. Cut from the inner one I drew. To here. You just add because of the folding under the lacing. All right.
okay now we got it all right please i want you to understand this if you don't understand you watch the video instead of asking me how do i how do i we're all doing it together here all right it's just because i'm teaching you that's why it's taking time me i can do it seconds without even marking i'll just use my scissors and cut cut you understand okay now we have gotten this all right now let me just show you something that we've gotten look at wow pattern that is the cover pattern in case you don't want you want to use it like this you can use it like this but that's not what we are looking for we are looking for that design on that picture there's a design there that's what we are looking for all right now it's like this what do we do now if you have your buckle and your buckle is three inch or two inch you use the buckle size to measure this side the longer side here yeah, that is the four now the reason why we cut out these small small ones that will mark with that small line the reason why we cut out this small small this that will mark out with here these small ones from here and here the reason why we mark it out is because we want here to bend here to have this curve you don't leave it straight because it's not always a rubber palm slipper so that is that rubber palm no it's not it this is handmade palm so the here need to have this folding if you check the picture you see what i'm saying here need to curve here need to curve you understand that's how i cut this place out all right now let's get our design finally this is the ruler you use the bigger side which is the inches yeah which is the inch yeah you mark out normally i think buckle used to be one inch sometimes so let's say we are using one inch as a cost case study one inch and you come to this place again that you fold from all right depends on how let's see two inch and two inch is not good let's say one and a half inch one and a half inch you mark one and a half inch all right then you come here again the same thing now let me not get you confused from the longer side we mark how many one inch then from this side from where you fold it from the joint we mark out what one and a half inch then from here also mark another one inch again one inch one inch one and a half inch you understand now this is what you do you can see everything is clear all right now this is what you do you place your ruler here straight mark come here place your ruler here straight mark come here place your ruler here also straight mark come to this joint carve it like this come to this joint carve it like this now let's do the last thing take your scissors cut here here and here all the way down okay you can see that now let's open it boom how do you see that exactly the design on that picture now the last thing how to fix our buckle all right guys so let's sketch out where the buckle is going to be either here or here we'll save our way 
is front and back pattern all right now look at this empty paper here take it under okay and draw so you shift it inside like this draw exactly this line then take it out then cut this out hmm? keep it aside then here cut here like this like this all right then this one will be under you understand this is where the buckle will enter this is the buckle side all right if you check well you will see that this is how the place is coated and this place also is where you're going to fix the buckle like this you cut here you fix the buckle and bend it all right you can check on my short video you will see a video where I show you guys how to fix the buckle all right so from there copied it all right now you fix the buckle here you fix it like this okay so that's how it is. but the main important thing is how to get the pattern which is like this all right okay guys 